other things you should notice about this transition zone is now we're, we're now moving into the broadleaf tropical forest. A pristine tropical rainforest where students and visitors come to experience this magical world and its abundant wildlife. You want me to take a picture? That's for a big case. Oh my god! It's like a hamburger! <laughs> I feel that the scales on the back, in particular, have a keel down in each one of them. It was a tapir. It stood there for about five seconds, so we got a really good look at it. Where is this incredible place? In the small Central American country of Belize, in the heart of the Maya Mountains, lies the Bladen Nature Reserve. The Bladen is home to some of the most biologically diverse rainforests left on Earth. Here, at the gateway of this magnificent reserve, is the Bee Free Field Station. In the mid-90s, Jacob and Kelly Marlin moved to Belize to assist the government in helping to conserve the Bladen Nature Reserve and to live close to nature and raise a family. They created Be Free, a place where scientists and students can study and appreciate the rainforest. We offer courses in tropical biology, in primate ecology, in conservation, in protected areas management, environmental science, art and ecology. We also offer marine programs. Each program is um, specially developed and designed to do the things that would um, complement a class that a professor is bringing down here. Be Free field courses often include experiences throughout Belize where local people contribute their knowledge. A local guide at this ancient Mayan ruin shares the culture of his ancestors. Students also visit a grassroots community project that protects howler monkeys demonstrating how man and nature can live together in harmony. This area have a high population of black howler monkeys. Howler monkeys enjoy eating cashew fruit. It's delicious. And so do the students. They travel through Belize from ridge to reef, studying the dynamics of a watershed. We have the means to provide just about anything, and we can get very creative. It's all here. The journey begins at the International Airport with a warm welcome. I'd like to welcome you to Belize on behalf of Be Free. I'm absolutely thrilled to be here. As we go along, um, I'll try to point out different things to you along the way. Cultural immersion begins with the flavors of Belize. Rice and beans, stewed chicken and coleslaw. And later, homemade tamales. <laughs> They're delicious. Next comes a visit to a local market. What we like to do is immerse them culturally in the experience of buying the food that they're going to be eating at Be Free. And, and what better way to do that than at a local market? The journey continues south, reaching the entrance road to Be Free. The group fill up their water bottles and put on sunscreen for the six-mile hike along the entrance road to Be Free, traveling through savanna and broadleaf rainforest habitats. In the dry season, the road is easy to walk, but when the rains begin, the hike is a little more adventurous. Be Free, their destination, lies ahead at the foothills of the majestic Maya Mountains. I get excited when we get to this point because I know I'm halfway there. Show us up. Right? Exactly. Be Free's unique location requires passage through the Bladen Nature Reserve, co-managed by Yox Jay Conservation Trust. Here, local rangers share their knowledge of the reserve. We'll see Be Free lying right next to the Bladen Nature Reserve as well as Deep River Forest Reserve and Maya Mountain Forest Reserves. At the end of their trek, the pristine Bladen River comes into view. Students wade across the crystal clear, cool waters to reach Be Free. The students will be staying at the bunkhouse, which sleeps 24 people. It is divided into two sections with a private room for professors. It has showers and outhouses nearby. Located under the canopy of the rainforest, you can wake up to the sound of howler monkeys and toucans. Be Free is about 1,153 acres, so the facilities are really spread out. There's trails that intertwine throughout the forest that connect all the buildings and then go off in lots of different directions. So they're all pretty well marked and well kept and um, it's just another wonderful way to explore the forest and see all the wildlife. Thirteen rustic yet comfortable buildings for staff and visitors are available. Many of these are constructed from trees salvaged from Hurricane Iris in 2001. The logs were collected by hand, then milled into lumber on site. The new laboratory, sponsored by Lincoln Memorial University, 
is fully equipped for use by visiting researchers. All the facilities here at Be Free run off solar power. Behind me here we have a solar system, powers enough energy for our communications, our telephone, our satellite internet, and also for our kitchen and dining room, which has lights and fans. The 112-foot tower provides a unique perspective. You can look out over the, the canopy in all four directions, see the mountains in the distance. Sometimes there's howler monkeys right at eye level, parrots flying in at night. It's just a terrific way to observe wildlife from up here. Under the canopy of the rainforest, Bee Free is developing a certified organic shade-grown cacao and coffee plantation to promote and educate about the importance of sustainable agriculture. An organic garden and orchard provide over 40 varieties of tropical fruits which are served in the dining room. Kitchen staff prepare a fusion of Belizean and international cuisine. They create delicious homemade recipes with fresh wholesome ingredients. Students get hands-on experience making traditional corn tortillas. Visitors receive an orientation, including instructions about health and safety precautions. You guys smell that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that, I think that's monkeys. Howler monkeys are commonly seen foraging in the canopy. The students spot something not many people see. It was actually a baby margay. Got some pretty good pictures. Almost heart stopping. This is a rare sight. Cats in the rainforest are elusive, especially the jaguar. Bee Free has a healthy population of jaguars, one of five cat species found here. Resident plant ecologist Dr. Stephen Brewer conducts research. The rainforest here uh, in the Bladen watershed are the highest diversity rainforests in northern Central America. Dr. Brewer shares his extensive knowledge. Dan studies snails and uses them as an example of the forest's remarkable diversity. For snails, it's an important building blocks of the ecosystem to pick up snails. Half of those snails are going to be new to science. He shares his tremendous passion for the natural world and the lesser known critters. During night walks, his keen eyes find many interesting creatures. Mist nets are set up across the trails to capture bats. There are over 80 different species here and the students experience them up close. Black lights bring in large numbers of insects. This can lift 800 times its own body weight. I can't even grab it so strong. I don't know. Oh! I got him. There's a bug going down my shirt. I'm sorry, he's getting loose. <laughs> Ta-da! Being in the rainforest at night is a uh, surreal experience. Jacob has studied snakes since childhood and has an eye for finding them. He spots a fertilance, one of the most venomous snakes of the forest. That's a biggie, man. That's you almost seven feet. Then first. Never seen anything like that before. That was awesome. Let go, yeah. The next morning, he provides a once-in-a-lifetime experience. They inhabit every type of habitat in Belize. The fertilance is restrained so that students can examine it up close and personal. Cannot bite through here. Cannot bite me or you. Has anyone never touched a snake before? Well, that I Not this size. Hands-on experiences like this one are common at Be Free. And this is a good sized snake. Be Free employs local people from nearby communities. Conti, a local Mayan, passes on his traditional knowledge of the forest. A jungle vine produces a welcome stream of fresh water. Conti is great. He knows everything about the rainforest. I just learned so much on the hikes. Local Belizeans trained in field survey techniques pass on their skills and knowledge of the forest and its inhabitants. They demonstrate misnetting and banding of migratory birds as part of a long-term avian research program at Be Free. Dr. Martin von Hoff studies bats throughout the neotropics. All of my travels in Central and South America, I think that Be Free offers the highest quality environment for a rainforest experience. Dr. von Hoff discusses research projects with his students. They go out into nature and make observations. So they're supposed to come up with a scientific question, and it starts with the word why or the word how. Based on that, then, they come up with a hypothesis, and they design methods then to test that hypothesis, and then actually go out and carry out their methods and collect data. The eventual goal, then, is to put together a presentation based on their activities in the field. After a hard day's work, there's always time for fun at the river. I love the fact that it's so clean and the fish are just amazing. 
The river ecosystem is unspoiled and full of breeding cichlids. It makes you feel really good about, you know, the world that there's still parts of it that's untouched. Cultural exchange is often a key component of bee free programs, like this homestay in the local Mayan village of San Felipe. Host parents adopt the student and they become part of the family. They join the boys in evening sports and play with young ones at their home. For many, it's the most memorable part of their experience in Belize. The students visit Juan Cho's organic cacao farm, where they learn more about sustainable agriculture. The cacao pods are full of seeds covered by pulp, but it is the seed itself which is fermented, then dried, that makes the chocolate. In this small, family-owned business, chocolate is made in the traditional manner on matate. Students participate in the process, ultimately indulging in the fruits of their labor. One of the things that gives me the most reward is, is watching the change come over these students um, during the course of one of our educational programs. Uh, it, it really changes people's lives. Students are exposed to so many different experiences and um, often outside of their comfort zone. But it's these experiences that really open their eyes and their hearts and their minds and inspire them like they've never been inspired before. We offer something that's very unique and that is one of the best educational experiences they could ever offer their students. I've held a snake, I've seen marine toads, a cat. It's not every day you get to be a part of so many just wonderful people that teach you so much. Now I really want to do research in the tropics. This has been one of the best experiences I've ever had. So I'll definitely never forget it. It blows me away. It's almost like something out of a storybook.